Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and this week I'll be featuring the game Ding Dong from developer Nickervision Studios, which is a minimal arcade game with a simple objective, score as many points as possible. So let's go ahead and take a look. So as mentioned, Ding Dong is a simple to play arcade game where you must move from top to bottom, avoiding the obstacles that glide in from off screen. Playing is simple with only a single tap being required to move the ball from top to bottom and back. Now it sounds simple, but if you wait too long at either end, the ball will get too big and pop, and the same goes for hitting any obstacles, you'll also pop. This game is sort of like a faster paced bing bong which I took a look at earlier this year. If you'd like to check that game out or any other games featured in the TGIF playlist, there will be an annotation card that appears at the top right corner of your screen that you can click. Everything is pretty cool about the game, even the way that you die. If you get a hit or you wait too long, you pop in, there's like all this stuff that kind of flies out. It looks kind of like confetti, which is kind of cool. Anyway, the game is pretty fun if you got some downtime before class or in a waiting room and it's free but does feature ads. However, they can be removed with a single in-app purchase and the game does feature Google Play Games integration for you social mobile gamers. Oh, and lest I forget the fact that there are power-ups that you can obtain as you play which make the game just feel a bit more more complete. Overall, Ding Dong is a solid game to add to the growing collection of minimal arcade games that feature cool animations and a great soundtrack. If you're interested in checking out Ding Dong for yourself, be sure to expand the description because I've left the link down there for you. That's pretty much going to end it though. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down there for more videos from me, and don't forget to follow me on Google Plus, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Periscope, and I will catch you guys in the next one.